Hello everyone, as you can see we're in a different room. I thought for this video I would try to make things a little more personal by way of showing you some of my Disney memorabilia. So, there you go. Uh, these guys, Goofy, and Sorcerer's Apprentice Mickey, I got them at the local mall. As I said before, every time I go to the mall alone, I make a stop at the Disney store, and I buy myself a new friend. This one. <clears throat> this figurine is one of three gifts my good friend Cece gave me for my birthday. She is one of the sweetest people I know. And she has not only influenced my love of Disney, but I hopefully <laughs> influenced her a little too. And of course these are our favorite characters. We love to make stories up about these two, their own little adventures. We'll expand upon that a little later. These two are some of my old stalls in that, well, okay, I was in college, I was a member of Japan, Japan Club, and we went to Chinatown, it was my first time there, and we went to all these new stores, these hidden stores, and I found these two sitting on a shelf, little bobbleheads, sort of. And I remember that I told a saleswoman I wanted both of them, and she asked me if I was getting one for my friend. I was like, no, no, these are both for me. <laughs> so, they're sometimes a little difficult to place, but I would not trade them in kind of thing. This I got at Anime Next, which is an anime convention in New Jersey. Um, I was extremely surprised to find her. I didn't think they'd be selling Disney merchandise at Anime Next. Um, and to find one this cute, this this little maid outfit or waitress, it's hard to tell. I personally think maid. These little roses, and this little bow, and this little apron. I was so happy. She also came in a black and white version at the dress, but I decided to go with something a little more colorful. So if I ever have a chance to find the black and white version, I will definitely try and grab it. These are the ears, a little sparkly, and this is the mini I got, both of these at, when I went to Disney World last year. We actually waited till the end of the day to get them because we wanted something, more something to, something more <laughs> to remember the day by. It was extremely difficult making this choice, let me tell you. These are the other two gifts my good friend Cece gave me. And as you can see, they are a pirate and a princess. She said she was only going to give me one. But when she noticed he was placed next to her, she could not bear separating them and thought the whole princess kidnapping thing was cute. So did I. But there's another little significance thing. I've mentioned a few times that I write fanfics. It's storky, but yeah, I write Disney fanfics starring this little guy here. My first full-length one, when I completed the one that really got me going, is called Pirates vs. Privates. And to make a long story short, he's a pirate. 
and everyone loved him. And I had a lot of fans, I had a lot of feedback, it was like, really one of the best times writing this and seeing everyone's responses. It's still getting hits to this day, which I'm very proud of. This is uh, Minnie as Maria from the Nutcracker. And I got her from my friend Sarah, who she doesn't publish an abuse of her name. But, well, you don't know who she is, but she does. Anyway, she sent me this along with these little cute drawings and all this great stuff for Christmas. And it was, I, I didn't expect anything from her because, you know, we both had money issues. We both were going through really difficult times. So this came as a complete surprise. And, um, also got me started on wanting more of these figurines. They're called Disney Traditions. They're absolutely beautiful. I really do recommend looking them up. They have such a great collection. This was a present from when I was, I was dating this boy named Kevin. His aunt gave it to me. She is precious. She is pink. Purple pink. Well, you get that. This was another find at a different Anime Next convention, different year. I also got Pluto, but I seem to have lost him. I can't remember where he is. But anyway. He is, I got this little Donald, he's so cute, I think he's supposed to be like a keychain thing, but I keep him around anyway. I like to, if I get out of the house sometimes, I would sneak him in my purse, just to, just to have little Donald around. And I remember at the end of the day of that Anime Next convention, as I was waiting for my ride, I sat in a corner, I just made him wave to people, and people waved back. These two probably instill the most guilt to me, but I love them anyway, because this was also when I was dating Kevin, and we had this, we, he was also part of the Japan Club at college, and there was this, there's this little place we used to like to go to, full of Japanese goodies, and I found these two, and they were really expensive, and I begged and begged and begged him for, for him to get me these, I said they might be graduation presents. We broke up after graduation. <laughs> so yeah, I feel a little guilty, but come on, how this is a really rare find. And he he didn't resent me for it, so don't worry about that. And they're adorable. I I would really love to show these off more often, really. This is my last uh plush I got from when I was dating Kevin. We went to see Toy Story 3 together. It moved us both a lot. And the second we the movie was done, we were so emotionally tied up that we went we ran to the Disney store to get something so toys wouldn't be alone. He got a Woody doll. And I was gonna get something from Toy Story too, but when I saw that they made plushies of Ludwig von Drake of all people. Well sucks. I could not resist, and I had to have him. Looking back, he's probably because of the Disney Junior Clubhouse thing. But either way, I'm just extremely glad to have him. He he feels like a rare find because he's such an underappreciated character, and I love him so much. I love the movie. This is my most recent purchase. He is a pirate, so for early reasons you can understand why I got him. This was a few weeks ago. My mother and my grandmother took me to this flea market. I didn't expect to find anything good there. And so I was deeply surprised when I came upon shelves and shelves and shelves of Disney traditional figurines. 
and choosing one of them was the was so painful because they were all adorable. They were all great. But the minute I saw him, I had to have there was there was no other choice. This is my iPhone cover. I finally got an iPhone in Christmas. And I but I chose the cover. My parents surprised me with the phone. I thought it's the cutest thing ever and I still do. I'm gonna wrap it up soon because uh, I think my mother's texting me. I used to have more things, but we had to give them away. We, well, no, had to, but we chose to give stuff away to charity. So I'm just gonna end up with like three more things. First off, this has been in my family for a long time, but they didn't tell me about it until a few months ago. My dad is a teacher. At our local high school, he's a music teacher, and one of his students gave him this. He didn't have interest in it, and so one day, out of the blue, my mom says, "Hey, do you want this?" "Hell yeah!" It's adorable. We got Sorcerer's Mickey. We got Band Concert Mickey. We got oh, <laughs> this picture is actually the uh, back screen. The I guess you could say back screen of my iPhone. This is the autograph book I got from my last trip to Disney World. But there is only two autographs in there. Because we didn't have time to get everyone's autograph, but these are the ones that mean the most to me. We got Minnie Mouse, original hearts. And we got Mickey Mouse. I like how so huge his handwriting is like compared to many like how huge his ego is and how quickly it is it's adorable and so the final thing before I wrap this video up I'll probably realize I'm getting something later <laughs> is the photos I took with Mickey and Minnie I still haven't figured out how to scan this is me, Mickey, and my plush. And this is me, Mickey, Minnie, plush, and my mother. Isn't he beautiful? Oh, I forgot about this one. <laughs> me, Mickey, plush, and Mickey, and me being unable to stop giggling, <laughs> so my eyes are closed. So, yeah. I remember at the end of the day when we got these pictures. The guy who was uh, selling them, he was so nice, and he understood why I was giggling so much. There is probably a lot of stuff in this room that I could probably show you, but that would take up too much time. I have a lot of books, I have a lot of DVDs, but I figured I would show you the stuff that means the most to me, which is my dolls and my collectibles. I would love, love to get more in the future. Yeah, I gave up one. <laughs> Don't. Anyway. Yeah, I would love to expand that collection, even though I feel guilty because I only have a job in retail and it's like part time. So, yeah. But if you have something you love, then I don't see why you shouldn't pursue it. Because it makes you happy, and there are so few, few things in life that can do that these days. And this makes me happy more than anything else in the world. <laughs>